This way. <laughs> Come on, Billy. We just closed today and we're heading in. We're so excited. Alex is here. Look at Ann. Ann doesn't give a damn. She's like, look, I'm annoyed, I'm tired, I just wanna eat my french fries. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So to start, this landscaping has to get some love. It is not popping. Come on, Ann, we're going inside. So first and foremost, this door, we're gonna be changing this out. Order has already been placed. We're just waiting for the people to come out and, and put it together, so. This door is gonna be different as we enter. This is the main entrance. This is the staircase leading upstairs. That's our main light there. Um, this staircase is going to be remodeled. Like, pretty much it's gonna be just snatched out and a whole new one is gonna be put in. I just couldn't deal with the wood. But anyway, this is the uh, formal living room. And that's the light fixture that they have there. These light fixtures, that one, all this stuff is gonna get replaced um, with updated lighting. There's two frosted glass doors that lead into a family room, but I'll show you guys that in a second. We come this way, this is the formal dining. And then as you go through here, this is the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. This is the one thing in the house that we are not gonna touch, because I absolutely love this kitchen. We're gonna change the lighting, because we just, we're, we're lighting people, so the lighting has to make sense. So all this is gonna be changed. The kitchen was recently remodeled. We love the color palette that they chose like the neutrals, the backsplash, we love the granite, we love all of the appliances. We are so lucky we got to get appliances that we actually give a damn about. So we're keeping all the appliances, girl. We came up on this kitchen. We got a farmhouse sink, which we absolutely adore. We were gonna get that anyway, so we got real lucky. Dishwasher, a really nice um, gas uh, stove, which we are more than satisfied with, and this really cool French door um, refrigerator thing here, so we are happy about that. This area over here I'm probably gonna use is like my coffee bar. So I'm excited to have that space that's away from the other counter space because I'm a counter space type of gal. So I need a lot of counter because I love to cook and set food out and entertain and stuff. So perfect. This is the eat-in kitchen area here. And then this is our family room, you guys. We're switching out the floors here. We're taking up this carpet and putting down new floors. This is actually a real fireplace but it's been converted to be, there's like a gas unit that's in there so that it doesn't have to filter up out of the house because my dad said that's just a hassle. So it is like a little unit that got put in and we're probably just gonna leave it like that. I'm going to remodel the fireplace a bit just to bring it up to date. I actually like the brick because it's the original brick like the house. So I don't wanna get rid of the history and stuff of the house because I really like the character and stuff, but I'm just gonna update it, get rid of this molding, make this a different, you know, make this mantle a different color. And I'll probably do some more with it, but I'm gonna meet with one of the um, remodeler guys and see what he what ideas he has with this, but it's, it might not change too, too much. And so here's the view into the formal living room from the family room, which I thought was pretty cool, and it's a step up, so that's pretty cool. And then this is our wine bar which is also gonna be like our bar bar, for now at least until we finish the basement. So I love that, because you guys know I'm a wine head, so that's perfect. And then back here is our backyard. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick peek, not a full uh, tour, just because there's not much going on back here, but this is just kind of the view that we have for the back. And then that goes down into the basement, that staircase there. But um, the people who used to live here had a teenage son. Um, but we're getting rid of the, the hoop, we don't really need it. We're gonna turn this into like um, an entertaining space for outdoor living, like cooking and all that stuff. So we have like this whole idea for like a California kitchen and a pergola and all that, so that's going out there. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys back here real quick. There's a half bath here, which was already renovated and so we are gonna leave it. The only thing I'm gonna change in here is this light, to me, it doesn't go with the style of the bathroom, so we're taking that out, but everything else is fine. And this is the laundry mudroom area, so this is like the side of the house, the side entrance, and then when you come in, like this is what you see. This room is very dated, you can tell it hasn't been updated, so we're pretty much gutting it out. The, the cabinets gotta go, the sink gotta go, the floors can stay, because these are, um, girl, these are real deal hardwood flooring. So like this is some expensive shit here. So we are definitely leaving the floors on the first floor all throughout because it's like a good floor and they just did it. 
but we're gonna change all in here. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna make it like a light gray. I'm gonna have like light gray cabinets and tables and we're gonna get our washer and dryer here and it's gonna just be really nice and airy and I'm gonna open up this window and it's gonna be kind of nice for um, doing laundry and stuff. So as we go back into the house, oh, this is the garage. Like we're replacing the front door, we're also gonna replace the garage door has already been ordered. We're just waiting for it to get delivered and installed so the garage door will be different. We're going with chocolate, like a dark brown chocolate color for the exterior door and the garage door because I like the look of that, so that's what we're doing. And this is a heated garage, so it's pretty cool. All right, let's go back inside. I'm gonna show you guys um, the rest of everything. And then this is the door to the basement. The basement is unfinished. I'll probably take you guys down there in a second. Um, well, let's do it now. We're gonna refinish this basement. My dad is really, really good at refinishing basements. That's actually his specialty. So, we got lucky, you guys, because down here, the plumbing is already set up for a bathroom. My dad already identified that. This is for a toilet, and this is for sink, and blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna put a bathroom here. We're gonna close off the furnace and water, um, water tank thing. And my dad is going to create um, an entertaining space down here for us because we want to get like a pool table, a bar, uh, we want to have a theater room, so he's going to cut off one of the rooms and make it for like a theater. And um, we're going to put probably a little bedroom down here if we can fit one, so maybe it could be like my office, but I don't know. But this space down here is a thousand square feet, so we have a ton of space to work with. We just need to figure out what we're doing. And this is the door leading to outside with the steps going up and the renovations from the previous owners. Some of the excess materials and stuff are down here. This is like extra cabinets, extra tile from the bathroom and things like that. So I'm glad they left this stuff that's like key for like, you know, making any changes if you need to. So I'm gonna head back upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. So heading upstairs, ooh, that sun coming in. It's no joke. You guys, I, li I like the lights. But there's just like old school. We gotta get some updated ones. We already got some picked out, so we're gonna replace this. But I'm like, should we just throw this away? Like, I just feel like it's such a waste to throw. It's a nice light, but we just don't want it. Anyway, you guys, this is the upstairs. Look at Anthony. He's like, girl, bye. This is the upstairs, okay? This is the master bathroom, or master bedroom and bathroom. Another bathroom, and then these are the bedrooms over here. But let me just take you guys through first things first. So, master bedroom. It's pretty big, but carpet and all this is gonna go. All the carpet in the house is gone. We're replacing all the floors for that. This is our master bathroom, which has been recently renovated and we actually love it, so we're leaving it. Love the towel on the floors, love the soaking tub, love the shower, love the vanity, love the chandelier, love the skylight. We have no issue with this bathroom. The only thing we don't like, or we don't love, is the purple paint, so we're gonna paint again a different color look at all the space we have where we could put storage i'm just like have all these ideas i have to figure it out but i really like the sinks and the countertops they look nice i really love the chandelier anthony doesn't love it but i think it'll grow on him because it's just kind of nice in here we're gonna replace the um shower head and stuff my dad is actually on his way right now to do that we're gonna make it like a rainfall shower system. Like it's this whole like little unit that you install on this wall and it's like a rain shower head and all that. This is what Anthony wanted, so we're gonna get that. But other than that, this bathroom is beautiful. This is our closet, which is a walk-in closet. You guys, this space is huge. It's like, when I told the guy at the closet place the dimensions, he was like, oh, so you're turning a small bedroom into a closet. I was like, no, it's our closet. He was like, wow, that's huge. Cause it's like, um, it's like, nine by 14 in here. So it is like a small bedroom. But anyway, the people who were living here before were not utilizing the space well at all. You see these shelves, it's almost like, there's so much space in here that is not being used for storage. So we are going to hire a closet um, remodeling company to come in and really just completely transform this space into a functional walk-in closet. Of course, we're gonna change the floors to match the floors in the bedroom. All of these are gonna be hardwood floors and it's just gonna have like cabinets and drawers and um, hanging space and cubby shelves for shoes and it's just really gonna maximize this space because that is the one thing that we really need because I have a lot of stuff and so does Anthony. We got the closet guy coming on Tuesday so like in the next three days this project will be started so I'm excited. I also wanna put um, a chandelier at the, at the top up there versus just like a regular light. So this is like our guest bathroom slash Ann's bathroom or whatever. I like how it has the dual, the dual um, sink 
pinks. I don't like the color choice, like that aqua, but Anthony loves it, so I'm keeping it, but I really hate it. Like, I don't like that, but Anthony loves it, so we'll keep it. Oh, and we're gonna change that light because it does not not go with the decor to me. And then there's a skylight up here, which is pretty nice. All right, so moving on to the other bedrooms. There are three, and they're all right in here together. This is a linen closet, which to me is just a little bit unacceptable. So again, with the shelving, we're gonna snatch all of this out. They're gonna paint in here, and then they're gonna put new um, vinyl shelving, which makes more sense. This room here, which is facing the front of the house, it's a pretty sizable room. Um, this is gonna be our guest room, and what the furniture that we have in our bedroom right now is what's gonna go in here. So we have a huge king-size bed, um, two nightstands, a dresser. We're gonna put all that in here. The closets in here are pretty deep to just be regular reach-ins. So I think that's enough space to kind of maybe put um, a closet system in here so we can maximize the storage in this room. So we'll probably put like some of those alpha uh, closet system things from the container store. I might think about doing that. So that's that room. Oh, also all throughout the house, there's like this intercom system, um, which is like some straight 90s shit. So we're definitely pulling all of this out um, and we're just not gonna do the intercom system. My, my dad was like, man, that's kind of nice, you know? You can like communicate through the different rooms. I was like, who the hell's doing that in 2018? Like, you, that's why you have cell phones and iPads and all that. You don't need to communicate pushing buttons. I'm like, no, we're taking it out. This room over here, this will most likely be Ann's room. Um, they have it painted purple, but we're getting rid of that immediately. I'm gonna do like a taupe color in here. And it'll be the hardwood flooring, which is a dark color floor, which will be super cute in her little furniture. Her white furniture and stuff will really pop on that. And I'm gonna put a ceiling fan in here. And then this is the final bedroom, um, which will likely be my stepson's bedroom. Uh, we're still not sure yet how we wanna set this up, but we know we're gonna paint and get rid of this stuff that they have going on here. There's the closet. Again, with the intercom. These things are all over the house, so my dad assured me that we can snatch them out, uh, repair the wall, and then just paint over it, and it's like it never was there. What are y'all doing? <laughs> Listen, bad girl. <laughs> and this is the view from our bedroom out to the front of the house. Oh, this is just our street. And Michi's car that I drive every day right there. Look at me. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm talking low because everybody's still asleep. The only people woke are me and Ann, but what else is new? So I'm actually up really early so that I can get dinner ready for later today. As you guys can see, it's only 8, it's not even 8.30 yet. But I'm making my favorite greens, I love greens. I'm using collards, not that many. I'm just making a small amount this time. It's kind of a busy day today. Today is the day Anne takes her pictures at JCPenney's. So we're really excited because this will be her first time taking pictures with anyone other than moi as the photographer. So we're gonna do that uh, in a couple hours. And we stayed out really late last night at the house, way later than we needed to. So everyone's really tired and stuff. I mean, we probably didn't get into bed until like midnight, which for us old people, that's pretty late. And then after that, I actually have a meeting with the contractor who's gonna be remodeling our staircase. He's gonna be meeting us over at the house for like kind of an in-home consultation type of thing. And then once we come back, we're gonna have some friends over because I feel like with all of this house buying stuff and all this stuff with the closing, all that stuff, we've been really, really busy and kind of neglecting our friends. So I decided today that we were just gonna have like a little trivia game night at my place, invite a few of our really close friends over. I'm gonna cook dinner for everyone. So that's what the greens are all about. I'm making macaroni and cheese. We're gonna order a tray of chicken and just have like a really laid back, kind of old school, soulful evening with our friends since we can't really have people over at the new house because we're about to start the renovations and stuff. So we just figured we'd have everyone over here just as a way to kind of celebrate the clothes. Let me show you guys these cards that we're gonna be playing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen these. These are trivia cards and they're all kind of based on like black culture and like kind of like the way we all grew up and some of the things that are really familiar. If you grew up in a black household in the 90s, it's by a company called Zumble and they sent me this full freaking array of their assortment. like tons of 
card packs. <laughs> so let's just take a look here. So there are tons, guys, like really cool stuff like Trap Trivia. There's even a Ladies' Night Edition. Scandal, Girlfriends, Moesha, Living Single. And I just love that it's cards for the culture. This is just so fun. Like this is like literally a trivia game made just for black folks. This is a Martin one. We might end up playing one of the Martin ones. We'll see. There's the Fresh Prince. There's a different world. Um, there's some pregame trivia. There's even Jay-Z trivia, which should be really, really fun. I'll probably lose though. I'm not as big as of a Jay-Z fan as people would think based on my love for hip hop, but I might get some of them right. And this is um, Culturally Awkward Cards, a shady game for shady ass people. And the objective of this is that it's a rude, offensive, and shady card game, just like you and your shady ass friends. That's so funny. And they have a an Obama quote back here that says I'd buy this game for Malia. <laughs> There's a 90s R&B edition, which should be super fun. So if you guys are interested in cards like this of your own, I'm gonna put a link in the description box. Otherwise, stay tuned till later and you guys will see us playing with these. Okay, we're here getting the pictures. Crazy morning. Are you guys waiting to be out? Wow! Auntie Alex oh over here. <laughs> Second outfit. Oh, the sailboat props. How cute. All right, y'all. It's been a crazy day. We're heading into Jules to get some last minute stuff for this little get together tonight. We've been running around all day. We went to lunch. We went by the new house and met up with one of the contractors who's going to be remodeling the staircase. Got that all settled. So he's going to be starting on that. We're just running into Jules real quick to grab some stuff and then we'll be heading home. Ann took her pictures. They were so nice. It was so fun. I hope they turn out good. We didn't get to even see the finished product because, um, had to hurry up and go meet with the contractor guy at the house. JC Penney's was so crowded. It was kind of like a circus in there. So we couldn't stay to look at the pictures. We're gonna go back tomorrow and look at them. But from what I saw on the computer, they were really cute. So Ann did well. Hey girl, sure you do. Um, Y'all look like beach Barbies. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Is this my card, Auntie? Yes. Okay, great. So you not you um uh -huh. I'll I mean uh-huh, yep. Um, all right, listen, listen. These are the answers you'll know immediately. All right, higher learning, hustle and really? flow, okay. baby boy, boys in the hood. Uh, what was the question? What well, yeah. Which one which, go? which one gotta go? Oh, that first show. Higher <laughs> learning. <laughs> higher learning. <laughs> that shit gotta go. Yeah, yeah, only right. because I don't know what the Tyra Banks and Ice Cube oh, were in that. Yes. Do I keep I'm not going that up. Do we, do we no, just flip no. it over? Hustle and flow can get that unruly. Hustle, you know what? Hustle and flow, hustle and flow. I don't think I'm playing right. Which one of the following reality TV shows would you spend the whole weekend watching if nothing else was on TV? For the love of Ray J, I love New York. Collection, double packs that I own. When I break a mouse, sneak ahead.